Hello and welcome to video number four. In this specific video, we're going to be showing you how to gather all of your pages, create all your pages, and upload your pages through FTP to your website. Now, before we talk about pages, I want to make sure that you have everything that you need. So basically, you're going to need your web hosting details, your FTP login, your username and password beforehand, so that you can log into your website and upload your files. You're going to need an FTP program to upload files called FileZilla. And you're going to need to have a web editing tool called Composer. What I want to do now is really quick, let's go to Google and I'm going to show you how to find these programs so you can install them and begin to use them in the next few minutes. Okay, so if you go to Google here and you type in FileZilla, then the website here, FileZilla-Project.org, is the FT program that you need to go ahead and download. Now, FileZilla is compatible with different operating systems. As you can see here, we've got Windows, Linux and Mac. So go ahead and download the installation program, install it, and we're going to be using this in just a few minutes. And if I go back to Google here, the second program that we're going to be using is called Composer. So that's K O M P O Z E R, and that's composer.net, as you can see here. If you click on downloads at the very top, you'll notice that it is also compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. So go ahead and do the same thing, download it and install it, because we're going to begin to use it in just a few minutes. So here's what you need to do. I'm going to explain what you need to do, and then I'm going to actually go to show you exactly how to go about doing them. So first things first, you're going to need to have a sales page. I'm going to assume that you already have a sales letter written and you just need to know how to create the sales page and put it onto a web page. So what you need to do is just make sure that the web page is called index.html or index.htm. All this stuff is going to make sense in just a minute. When I actually show you how to do it and you also need to ensure that you have everything on there and don't worry about the sales button yet we're gonna talk about that later on in that specific video you also need to have a thank you page and I'll show you how to create this but with the thank you page just a few things to note make sure that your thank you page is not called thank you.html or thanks.html simply because if somebody's going to buy your product there's a lot of people out there that are curious and mischief and that want, that want your product for free and they're going to try all they can to get your product for free so that's just a security measure right there you also need to ensure that you have all of your content files links on the thank you page and I'm going to show you how to do that in a few minutes and another few things before I move on and show you actually how to do it is your thank you page is prime real estate and what I mean by that is that when people land on your thank you page you can sell other things you can add bonus offers unexpected bonus offers you can also add related products to cross sell other offers or you can also integrate it with other product owners products you can make some sort of agreements with other product owners say hey I'll put your product on my product you can get a list of buyers if they can get your free product and so forth and you can add a lot of value and utilize your thank you page so remember that your thank you page or download page is prime real estate and make sure that you use it to the best of its ability then what we have is the affiliate page the affiliate page is basically going to be your page with all your promotional tools 
where your affiliates can come, find more about your product, learn more about how they can promote your product, and then you can give them tools that they can use and go out on the internet and promote your product, such as banner ads, solo ads, uh, Google AdWords ads, keywords, blogging pages, and so forth that can actually help you market your product. So, but for now, go ahead and create a page, and we're gonna create a page. I recommend you create it called affiliate or affiliates.html, or create a new folder called affiliate and put the page in there and name it index.html. Now, if none of this makes any sense, it's gonna make sense in just a few minutes because I'm gonna show you how to do it. So now let me go ahead and show you how to put what you've just learned into action. So you need to go ahead and grab your product files and go ahead and zip your product files up. And as you can see here, I've already zipped my product files. And if you don't know how to zip it, of course, you can right click on the folder or the products and click on send to compress zip folder. And of course that will vary if you're using a Mac or a Linux operating system. So once you have your zip files ready, it's time to create your sales page, your thank you page, and your affiliate page. To do that, it's very, very easy. What I like to do is just simply right click, click on new, and click on text document. At this point, all we need to do is select the text document, right click and click on rename, and rename this by highlighting everything in there to index.html. So this is going to be your sales page. And what I'm gonna do now is simply make a copy of this file. So click on copy, and I'm going to duplicate that copy twice to create two other pages. And I'm going to click on this to rename it. Click on this and type in, let's say for example, thanks. Of course, you don't want to do thanks.html or thank you.html, but you can do, sometimes I'll do something like thanks and put a bunch of numbers. As long as you remember what it is, that's what matters. So that's going to be our thanks or delivery download page. And then this here will be our affiliate page. I'll call it affiliates and there we go so now what I can do is I can edit these three files with the composer web editing tool to do that it's simple and easy I'm gonna start with the sales page so go ahead and click on the index.html file go ahead and right click and click on open with composer And this is what Composer looks like. As you can see, it looks pretty much like uh, Microsoft Word or any other type of Word document editing tool. And as you can see here, we can write the headline here, the subheadline, and you can bold it. You can change the color by simply clicking on the color here. You can make it bigger, make it smaller, italicize, underline, change the alignment, change the font, the heading, and so forth. You can also add images as well here. So all you need to do is simply copy your sales page into here. Uh, some of you already have your sales pages pre-made by someone, um, but basically Composer allows you to edit your sales page 
and add your sales button, which I'll show you later on when we're getting our sales button. But for now, that's basically how to create a web page. Now, in this specific video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect these files to your thank you page. To do that, all you need to do is simply click on the thanks HTML page, do the same thing, open it up with Composer, and we can say thank you for purchasing the X product. You can download the files down below. And we can put our downloadable links here, download files. And let's see here, we have a PDF file and four videos. And the easiest way to add these links and link it to your download page is this. So we've got a PDF file and video one, video two, video three, and video four. So you can go ahead and name these files and we'll just put that here. I'm gonna, let's say, I'll change the font for everything to Arial. I'm gonna, let's say, put this, underline this, uh, bold this, make this red, and I'm going to link these files. And of course, down below this, you could put some sort of bonuses down below. But in this case, we're going to link these titles to these actual files here. So the easiest way to do this is this. The first one is the PDF. So what I like to do is simply click here, copy the whole file name, go back to Composer, make sure that this is highlighted, click on link, and enter the file name. So it's pdf1.zip, and I'm going to click on links to be opened in a new window, and click on OK. So as you can see, it has been linked. Do the same thing to the other files. Highlight, click on link, click on this, click OK, and I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other three videos. Okay, so there we go. Just make sure that, okay, so video one is window1.zip, video2.zip, video3.zip, and video4.zip. So make sure that everything is correct. Click on save. And in order for this to work, you need to make sure that the thank you page is in the same folder as these files here. If this is the case, then it's going to work. Now, of course, with the affiliates page, you're going to do the same thing. We're not really going to edit the affiliates page yet, but I'm just going to put affiliates promotional tools. On this page, you'll need to put a short description about your product, uh, what your affiliates will make in terms of commissions and of course make sure that you tell them how fast they will get paid. With Digi Results you can actually set it instantly 7 days, 14 days, 30 days and so forth. And of course right below that you can include the affiliate promotional tools which I'll show you in the last video. So at this point, I'm going to double click this. This is our sales page, our thank you page, and our affiliate page. And as we can see here, we just tested it out. By clicking this, it downloads to our computer. So we can see it actually works. So once we've tested it out, make sure that it works before you upload it to your website. Now we can actually upload these files to the website. To do that, it's simple. 
all you need to do is open up FileZilla and make sure that you have your web hosting FTP details and your username and password. So in this case, go ahead and enter your host, which is normally ftp.yourdomain.com or whatever your domain is, ftp. And then your username and your password. And with FileZilla, simply click on Quick Connect and it'll actually save it in your history so that if you want to access it later on, you can easily do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my website. And at this point when you're connected, for some of you, your root directory is going to be called public underscore HTML. For some of you, it will be HTTP docs, and it can vary from web hosting to web hosting. But for most of you, if you see a public underscore dot HTML, double click that. And at this point, you can go ahead and upload your files. Or if you're like me, I'm gonna go ahead and install it on one of my existing sites. So I'm going to create a new folder. So click create new folder. I'm going to call this digit results. Click OK. Find the folder. And I'm going to simply drag and drop the files from here to here. So I'm gonna highlight everything here drag and drop it into the folder that we just created or to your root area and there we go that's it so in the next video i'm going to show you how to set all the files up onto digit results and we're almost done